Hi everyone. So I've been experimenting with a sound and light machines. And if you want to get an idea of what a sound and light machine is, then I suggest you look up a gentleman by the name of Mitch Altman. Mitch basically uh, shows you how to make a sound and light machine uh, of your own. So he uses this mini POV circuit, um, which you can uh, go and figure out how to get on the internet and hooking that up to a pair of glasses. In this case, I've chosen these kind of nifty white glasses, but he uses a pair of uh, safety goggles, and you can use any kind of glasses, really. And when I turn it on, you can see that the LEDs are blinking. One is blinking a little bit differently than the other one is blinking. And when you wear the glasses and this kind of light effects happen, um, your mind causes you to have these visual experiences. Um, you could call them disruptions or hallucinations or all kinds of interesting things happen. You see lines and shapes and so on. So I'm very interested in studying this effect and I wanted to um, make something which was a bit of an expansion on Mitch's design. And so I created an augmented version where you could still see through the glasses and the glasses themselves lit up. But I've been working on designing something um, to change that. And so I've designed this pair of uh, headphones. So basically all you need is a pair of headphones that have a microphone um, attached to them. And you need to buy two pairs, so you've got to find one that's cost effective. And then you take both of the speakers that have the microphone attached to them and you put them onto one headset. So I'm just going to put them on and you can see how with this type of design you have the freedom to move the uh, lights wherever you'd like. Something you have to keep in mind is that um, these lights are actually flashing quite considerably faster than the frame rate of the camera. So it's a little bit hard to see what's happening, even though you're watching a video about it. Um, but when you move these directly in front of your eyes, um, the effect is quite intensified. So I'm experiencing all kinds of interesting visual effects. Uh, and also there's the audio. Uh, but when I move it away from my head, I can still experience uh, this effect. So the light is passing by my uh, eyes and still causing me to have these kind of interesting visual effects, but I can also engage with my physical environment. So there's kind of two uh, different things happening in terms of the psychological effects of uh, the device. Now, if I just hold these up to the speaker so you get an idea. It's um, a little bit hard to describe exactly what's happening with the audio and the uh, lights because of the nature of filming. So what I'd suggest is go and trying it on your own. And uh, a good progression is actually to start with Mitch's design, but eventually you'll need to use a microcontroller of your own if you want to get a little bit more uh, out of the functionality. So I'm using uh, this one right here. A little bit hard to see, but uh, the controller on its own is uh, called Display Duino. And basically, Display Duino is an expansion of the Arduino platform. You could also use Arduino for this. Um, so yeah, have fun, and I hope you enjoy the video.